Look at this silly cat, how he's sitting. I said to Karen, it looks like his batteries died. He just looks like he was in transit and he just ran out. No more batteries. Coho, you're a silly cat. He's the youngest of our three cats. And I'd say he's also the silliest. And lately he's been the snuggliest, even more than Mason. He loves the lake place. Oh, yeah, you're silly. <laughs> and they love the lake place because this is where there's more animals to watch out the window. Things to chase. Birds, and chipmunks, squirrels, raccoons, rabbits, fox. What else do we have in the air? Skunk, lately. That wasn't good, but it, the skunk never made a smell. Thank goodness the dogs didn't chase it. You are a truly silly cat. I think he has a sense of humor. In fact, I know he does. Listen to him purr. Just because I'm talking about him, he's purring. My son-in-law noticed that this cat purrs even if it looks like you might pet him. He purrs at the drop of a hat. I've never dropped a hat, so I don't know that for a fact. But I do know that he's purring right now. Just because I'm sitting here looking at him. And he's wagging his tail at me, too. Hi, buddy. So one thing the cats have started doing, because our puppies do it, is the cats are starting to all lick us. Coho, not so much. He'll snuggle a lot, and he'll throw himself literally down in your lap. But no, Coho, or Coda and Mason are both starting to lick us, just like the dogs do. They figure that we spend time with the dogs in the morning or at bedtime, and the dogs lick us, so maybe the cats will try it. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Oh, look at that. I touch his head, and he's just purring like an old tractor. Mason wants a part of this action, too. Don't you, Mason? Mason's been good now. Remember, he? this is the guy that sneaks out. We leave the patio door open to feed the dogs and he'll stand there and look out at us but he won't try and make a run for it because he's finding out at the lake place there's real predators that could attack him he took refuge in under the shed the last time he snuck out last spring i think something scared him could be their rustling their reeds of the many 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 animals and that week there was geese with babies but when they're in the reeds, it sounds like a big animal. I think it freaked him out. Now, okay, wrestle. You guys gonna wrestle? Time to wrestle. Whoever wins gets to be petted. No? <laughs> they kept me up all night last night. It's not even a full moon. I think it was because of all the the tree frogs sticking to our windows. I gotta show you that video. Tree frogs jump up on our windows at night because there's bugs attracted to the light and it drives the cats crazy. I'll show you that clip. Why are you scratching at the window? Yeah? He's been doing this for the last 10 minutes and I wasn't sure if uh, he saw a cat outside or a deer. Or what? Until I looked closer. <laughs> There's a tree frog stuck to the window. <laughs> it's, it's driving the cat crazy. <laughs> you see a frog? <laughs> so I've been annoyed for the last 10 minutes and now I finally looked. And that's what's going on. That's life in Minnesota for you. Yeah? What do you see? What's on the window? You're wearing out your nails, aren't you? <laughs> Where's the frog? <laughs> what, what are you going to do with the frog if you catch a frog? It's driving him absolutely crazy. I've never seen Mason like this. Wait till it starts making peeping sounds. 
I think that's a tree frog. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of frogs out on the lake this week. It's late July, and, um, you know, in cartoons I've seen frogs that land on lily pads and jump from one lily pad to the next, and I always doubted that. I thought, well, frogs would fall into the water. They would never land on a lily pad and stay there. And the little ones, I'll tell you what, hundreds and hundreds of little frogs actually do land on lily pads and jump from one lily pad to the next. I tried to video that for you last night, but then my dogs chased baby raccoons into a swamp and got all muddy. It was a big scene, so I didn't get the video shot because I was trying to get my dogs back home and save the little raccoons from getting... Look at He's trying to rip the window open. And the raccoons turned out okay. They swam away. Do you hear gunfire outside? It's probably someone target practicing. It's never it's bad. Fireworks, yeah, it could be fireworks. Yeah, it's never bad. And people are usually just target practicing. So there he is. He wants to get out the window, chase the baby frog. Yeah, it's just a tree frog. It's okay. Yeah, you're okay, Mason. <laughs> He comes to me for feeling better. That's a good boy. Isn't he cute? Oh, he's bumping my arm with his face. <laughs> You're purring. Yeah? What do you want? You want the tree frog to yourself? Did you find a friend? And there's our dog, Kira, sleeping heavily. She sleeps so well at night. <laughs> Where's the frog? Get the frog. What is that? What'd you find? He's purring. <laughs> he found a tree frog and he's purring. probably play with it and that wouldn't be good for the frog so we won't try I think tree frogs are pretty cool how they can just land on and stick right to the window and crawl on lily pads well, there you have it that's Mason finding a tree frog the dogs were wondering what the cat was looking at and they they just saw it too now they got their noses glued to the window you see the frog Where's the tree frog? Get it. What is that? <laughs> What's that, Rika? See the tree frog? See? What is that? What's on the window? She's got her tail wagging. <laughs>